Assalamu alaikum Ishaan. Wa alaikum assalam. So today we are here to know about your story, how to be an entrepreneur. Can you share us? Yeah. First your story, then we are going to ask other questions. All right. So tell us. Yeah, tell us your story, Ishaan. Um, it started when I first started finger knitting. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was making simple <coughs> finger knitted bracelets yeah. and I'd give them to my family members. So then um, I once gave it to my aunt yes. and she wore it to a party. So then I got, that's where I got my motivation from and I started, and I started to make these bracelets, beaded bracelets to give to my family members. And one day I ordered um, the materials to make earrings and then one day I realized that I could make this a business and that's how Ishaan's Treasures was born. Mm, that's nice. So the next question is, how did you learn about entrepreneurship? Can you share some things like how did you learn about it and how you started to think about entrepreneurship? Of course, everything has to start. If you're learning, everything mm -hmm. starts with your mom. So my mom ordered a book from Usborn. It was about entrepreneurship. And I then was very interested in business and I started ordering more books about entrepreneurship. So you are saying first you have to learn the content by some books yeah. or other mediums. Yeah, okay. And um, we also did a course of entrepreneurship, which we mm -hmm. hosted. Which I hosted? Yeah. Uh, the session, yeah. I bought a book, Childpreneur, Kidspreneur. And uh, I did, did some activity with kids, with Ishal and other kids, our homeschoolers. And um, what did we do? I think we make, uh, they made some cakes or some Yeah, things. we made cakes and, and we were I, selling it to our parents. Yeah, and I taught you how to like make tags and make things beautiful and how to advertise the things yes. and did some presentation and explanation. That's what we did, I think, three years ago. Half back. of the credit of all of, of all of Vishal's treasures goes, goes to my mom. <laughs> and your homeschooling journey, right? Because yeah. as we are homeschoolers, so we have more time to spend and we have more money to spend on these things because we are not paying school fees so we have money to spend on all extra things that people said actually people say it's extra but actually it's not because this is part of learning yeah skills skills are really important something something to teach our kids nowadays right all right so can you share us uh, how did you learn how did you make your skills to your business like uh, if you can share with them that from where did you learn that like this raisin art and macrame and crochet and things. The main part of entrepreneurship is turning your hobbies into a business. Mm -hmm. And I learned these raisin art and uh, I learned raisin art from a course. I didn't know raisin art before mm -hmm. and I learned it from... Um, Radio Tarbia. Yeah, Radio Tarbia course. Yeah. It was really fun. You can go and check that out. And um, yeah, these are raisin art kitchens. We also made a raisin art tasbi stand. And inshallah, we'll make more in the future. Okay. Something, something else you would like to share? Another thing about entrepreneurship is mind mapping. Mm -hmm. which is how you can find your niche so one thing you can do is that you can like write things you're good at mm -hmm. and then you can um, pick which one you think is more most suitable for business or more convenient for you or more um, less time spending there are many things that you can do with mind maps and you should also learn the basics like how to calculate the prices and don't make it too much yeah? Yeah. Yes, Ishaan, would you to like summarize to summarize all of this, the main thing about making a business is to find your talents, um, work on it, read more books about entrepreneurship. You can, you also need a lot of patience when it comes to business because 
um, you can't just make a lot of money overnight. So you have to be patient. You should learn how to advertise your things and follow Ishal Treasures for more of these type of videos. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.